Imagine you are designing a digital product like a website or an app. What's your ultimate goal? It's not just about functionality, right? It's about crafting an experience that feels seamless, intuitive and enjoyable for the user. So let me show you something. Here is an example of a good design that follows key UI principles. It's clean, organized and easy to navigate. Now compare it to this bad design, cluttered, overwhelming and frustrating to use. The difference is crystal clear, right? So this is where UI design principles come in. They are simply a roadmap to help designers like you design interfaces that are both user-friendly and enjoyable. So welcome to another informative video from Simply Learn, where today we will talk about these UI design principles, why following these principles are important, the seven key principles to focus on, and a few tips that will help you create better UI designs. So great UI design is more than just pretty visuals. It's about making your product functional, enjoyable, and easy for everyone to use. And here's why following these principles matters. Number one, enhances usability. Think of UI design as giving someone directions. So instead of handing them a map and expecting them to figure it out, you point to clear signs they can follow step by step. And this is what good UI does. It provides clarity and simplicity, guiding users toward their goals with ease. Number two, improves decision making. So when your design is clear and consistent, users can navigate more confidently. For designers, having a structured framework makes it easier to anticipate user needs and make informed choices. Next is it increases efficiency. So Figma's research shows that teams using design systems complete tasks 34% faster than those who don't. So starting with clear UI principles helps designers and developers streamline workflows. And then it reduces cognitive load. So good design minimizes the mental effort needed to complete tasks. For users, that means fewer frustrations and a more enjoyable experience. So now, before we move on to the seven principles, here's a quick info for you guys. You can unlock your potential with Simply Learn's advanced certification in UI UX design and dive into the world of user-centered design. This comprehensive course covers essential skills like wireframing, prototyping, usability testing, and mastering industry-leading tools such as Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD a Gen AI powered UI UX design course focused on practical learning. So whether you're an aspiring designer, a developer looking to expand your skills, or someone transitioning into UI UX field, this program offers hands-on experience, real world projects and expert guidance from industry professionals. So enroll now to begin your journey towards a successful career in UI UX design. You can find the course link in the description box and pin comments. So the first one is hierarchy, which guides the user's attention. So hierarchy, is all about directing users to the most important elements first. So you can think of it like writing a headline in a newspaper. It grabs attention before you dive into details. So in UI design, you can use size, contrast, and spacing to create a clear structure. So let's start with font size and weight. So as you can see, large bold fonts immediately draw the eye to headlines or key actions. So for example, in an e-commerce app, the product name is bold and the price is slightly smaller. And then comes contrast. So make sure that you use colors to make key elements stand out. For example, a bright buy now button against a neutral background will naturally grab attention. And then you have spacing, which means group related content together and leave enough space between unrelated items to create clarity. So as you can see in this example, the company name or the logo is bold and prominent because that is what they want their users to see first, which is followed by the subtitles or sections. So the use of visual cues ensures users can skim and find what they need without effort. So ask yourself, what's the first thing I want my user to notice and design around that? Now the second one is progressive disclosure which is to simplify complex processes. So progressive disclosure is like peeling an onion. You reveal one layer at a time to avoid overwhelming users. So instead of showing everything at once, present only what's necessary for the current step. So for example, when onboarding users to a productivity app, you might start by asking for the name and email. And in the next step, you gather additional details like preferences and settings. So this makes a process feel less daunting. So to make progressive disclosure effective, number one is to provide a progress indicator. So it can either be, as you can see in this example, a progress bar, or also you can give steps like step one, step two, or step three, so users know where they are. Also, you can avoid unnecessary steps, so keep the flow as short as possible. 
and test your multi-step flows to ensure users don't drop off halfway through. Now, on number three, we have consistency, which is to build trust through predictability. So consistency creates familiarity and trust. So when users know how a button, menu, or navigation bar will behave, they can focus on their tasks instead of figuring out the interface. So for example, in e-commerce platforms, the Add to Cart button is consistently placed near the product description across all product pages. So this uniform placement ensures users can quickly add items to their cart without searching for the button, streamlining their shopping experience. So now consistency applies to colors. Use the same color for similar actions, like green for submit and red for cancel. Then comes typography. Keep the font styles uniform for headings, body texts, and labels. And also interaction patterns. So ensure the drop-down sliders and the buttons that you use behave the same way throughout the design. So create a style guide or design system to enforce consistency across your project. Now the fourth one is contrast, which means highlight what's important. So contrast helps users distinguish between primary and secondary actions. It's not just about colors, it's about making sure the most critical elements stand out. So for example, a red delete button on a plain background immediately grabs attention, signaling the seriousness of the action. Now on the other hand, secondary options like cancel might appear in gray to show they are less critical. So use contrast for text readability, like black text on a white background or high contrast color combinations for buttons. Also test your designs with a contrast checker to ensure that they meet accessibility standards. So be intentional with contrast. Overusing it can also create visual clutter. Now next we have accessibility, which means design for everyone. So accessibility ensures your interfaces works for everyone, including people with disabilities. So this is not just a moral responsibility, but also makes your product more user friendly. So some of the key accessibility practices are number one, high contrast colors. So make sure the text and backgrounds have enough contrast for readability. Next is adding alt text for images, which means describe images for screen readers so even visually impaired users can understand them. And next is assistive technology compatibility. So test with screen readers to confirm functionality. So for example, Netflix subtitles and audio descriptions allow viewers with hearing or vision impairments to enjoy content seamlessly. Now, number six, we have proximity, which means grouping related items together. So proximity is about placing related elements close together. So users perceive them as connected. So this creates a logical and intuitive layout. So for example, in an audio player, buttons like play, pause, and volume are grouped together because they are all related to playback controls. However, the exit or the close button is placed separately to prevent accidental clicks. So this is how you can use proximity effectively. Number one, place labels next to the form fields they describe. Number two, group related items with proper spacing to show connections and then separate unrelated elements to reduce visual clutter. So white spaces, as you can see, isn't wasted space. It helps users focus and navigate easily. And finally, the seventh one is alignment, which creates order and balance. So alignment ensures your design feels clean and professional. It's like arranging books neatly on a shelf. It creates order and predictability, making it easier for users to navigate. For example, e-commerce product pages align images, product titles, and prices in a consistent grid layout. This structure helps users compare products quickly. So some of the best practices for alignment are, number one, use a grid system to structure your layout. Number two, align texts, images, and buttons along consistent margins. And also avoid random placement. It disrupts the visual flow. So even small misalignments can make a design look unpolished. So double check your spacing and placement. So these were the seven UI design principles to keep in mind while designing. So now let's see some tips for an effective UI UX design. Number one is apply perspective. So guide users through a logical sequence of actions as told earlier. For example, lead them from browsing a product to adding it to the cart and completing the checkout. Number two, keep it effortless. Make the interface intuitive with clear navigation and minimal cognitive load and then use shortcuts. Speed up common tasks with quick access buttons or keyboard shortcuts. And finally, test. Observe how real users interact with your design to catch and fix issues earlier. So that's a wrap on the principles of UI design. Remember, great design isn't about being flashy, it's about being functional, accessible, and intuitive. So apply these principles, test your ideas, and keep refining your skills. So if this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow designers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.